Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be reading my favorite quotes from, not quotes, but readings from March from my Anxious for Nothing. I'll link it down below. Um, the first one is from March 5th. Rejoice in what God has accomplished. Rejoice that he is able to do what you cannot do. Fill your mind with thoughts of God. Wow, that's so powerful. You know, rejoice that he is able to do what you cannot do. Yes, I am always talking about lifting it up to the Lord. I firmly believe that. I mean, even if it's not always the answer that you want, it is the answer that you need or the answer that is meant for you in order to grow, in order to, you know, live the life that he has chosen for you. So, you know, fill your mind with thoughts of God. I love this so much. The next one is March 7th. Every throne is a footstool for God. Every crown is paper mache next to his. He consults no advisors. He needs no Congress. He reports to no one. He is in charge. Absolutely. Yes. God is in charge. No matter what you might think, sometimes we try to control things and try to, you know, do things. But in the end, we're not in charge. God is. So you always have to lift it up to him. Always, always, always. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, March 8th. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. Lamin. Lamentations 324. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. That's amazing. Always have hope in the Lord. Always, always, always hope in him. He is hope because without him, what do we have to hope for? He is hope. It's so amazing. March 9th. Sovereignty gives the saint the inside track to peace. Others see the problems of the world and wring their hands. We see the problems of the world and bend our knees. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. And like I say, I read these every morning. I go, normally when I first get up, the dogs need to go outside, so I go and let them out, and then I go read my morning thing, and I just love these. Just kind of starts everything off right away with something really inspirational. March 12th, in everything God works for the good of those who love him. In everything God works for the good of those who love him. Romans 8.28. Absolutely. Absolutely. God works for... Oh, he's so amazing. So amazing. March 13th, I dare you, I double dog dare you, to expose your worries in an hour of worship. Your concerns will melt like ice on a July sidewalk. <laughs> that's amazing yeah I mean like I said lift it up to the Lord and you know it's not I mean I always say that lift it up to the Lord lift it up to the Lord and I'm not just saying that I truly do believe that but it is easier said than done I can a lot of times lift things up to the Lord and still worry about it and still you know wring my hands like that last one said you know it's like I can still be like that you know we're, we're a work in progress we can do the best we can you know I do lift my things up to the Lord but I still can worry I can still think about it I still you know have concerns but in the end I know deep down inside that God has my back so that gives me that kind of um, relaxing just knowing that he's there you know and um, the next one is March 29th not one bad deed deducts from salvation. Not one good deed. No, okay, hold on. Let me say that again. Not one bad deed deducts from salvation. No good deed, if there are any, has enhanced it. My salvation has nothing to do with my work and everything to do with the finished work of Christ on the cross. Absolutely have faith in him I mean Jesus Christ died on the cross for us he suffered for us he he suffered and died on the cross for our sins and then he rose again you know I mean come on absolutely absolutely just have faith in that have knowledge and know that March 30th be careful 
Be calm and don't worry. Isaiah 7 4. Absolutely. I, like I say, I, yeah, we're human. We're going to have our times, but always try to take those breaths. Try to lift it up to the Lord. Know that He has you, even if, like I say, even if it's not what you want in the end, it is what you need at the time. And even if it's devastating, He will get you through that. And the last one I have is for March 31st. There is a reason the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror. Your future matters more than your past. I absolutely love that one. It's so true. If you're so busy looking back, looking back, you're not looking forward and seeing, you're not living in the present and you're not looking forward to what is to come, you know? And you know, we've, I've done it. I've looked in the past. I've lived in the past. I've thought about things that I've done in the past and wished this and wished that, but you know, I've worked through it. I've become better because of it. I don't want to live in the past. I don't want to look back any longer. You know, we, I've lived it. I've learned from it. Lesson learned. Um, either, you know, you grow from it, you learn from it and yeah, look forward. You know, there's so many amazing things to come. And sometimes, yeah, I find myself, you know, um, earlier this week, I was kind of feeling down for a little bit, kind of down on myself. Just, you know, sometimes we do that, but I journaled, I meditated, I prayed, I got past it, got through it. And yeah, back to, you know, let's do this. <laughs> Let me know what you guys are thinking of these. I'm loving them. I love reading them day to day, but then I also love sharing them with you and like going back and looking at them because you read it in the morning at the time. And yes, you feel it and you, you, you enjoy it. I do. Absolutely. But then taking the time to go back and read them so I can really see which ones really resonate with me. I really enjoyed that because I'm actually, you know, I'm reading it again. Sometimes gives it a different view thought process, you know? So I've enjoyed that. I enjoy sharing them with you. Um, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. I hope you're enjoying this. Put a comment down below. Let me know anything that helps with you, with your day to day, any scriptures that you enjoy, any maybe calendars you're reading or daily, anything you do. I would love to know. I would love to hear it. I hope you all are having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.